Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching. My name is Yelida. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my Louis Vuitton Emprunt collection. I do also have one Damir Azor piece that I'll share with you. I might as well put those two combined as they are the least that I have within my collection. I already do have a Louis Vuitton monogram as well as a Damir Ebin collection video. I'll link those down below in case you are interested. Before moving on to the collection, if you are new, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. Let's get started with the Damir Azor piece. So that is one item, like I mentioned, and this is a rather popular piece and a now discontinued and revamped piece. What I'm talking about is the Pachet Accessoires. They no longer have it in the Damir Azor in the website to my understandings, but they do have it in the monogram as a revamped version. So what I mean by that is that the interior of the bag on the original one is just an open compartment with a side slip right here. And on the new one, it still has this general element but on this larger side where there is nothing there is a zipper and i'm not sure if there's a slip pocket behind the zipper or if it's just a zippered compartment personally because i already do have this one in the damir azor i also do have it in the monogram and on the damir ebin i am fine with what i have but i think that the zipper one might be good because sometimes like if i'm packing this to go on a night out or just my everyday bag and i have to to really compartmentalize my wallet i'll try to use this slip pocket but sometimes i feel like if i slip a card in there or even like cash it might like slip out some way or another so whenever i do that i'll just put it in here and then i'll try to like squeeze the pocket back that way it can kind of hold a little bit more but it's still a little bit of a concern to me so if you are debating on getting the new one i would say probably give it a try i know there's like concerns about how it's gonna look in the long term with the zipper being there so for example mine um you can kind of see a little bit of a dip right here of where i'm not even sure of what it might just be storage but whenever you have something on the inside that's kind of like imprinting it might create some kind of a dent there's concerns about that i've heard but really and truly it's a really nice bag it's versatile for day night whatever i've had great luck i've used these on vacations quite often honestly it's actually this style of bag the pochette accessoires nm that's what this one is called again not the one with the zipper but it's one of the ones that i lean towards taking with me on vacations as an actual option so usually i'll just carry like my never full and then i'll pair it with one of these guys and i love it because i can wear it as a crossbody or you know as a shoulder or i can unhook this and pair it over here to have it as a large wristlet this option to be honest i don't really use just because this is such a large piece kind of weird to have it hanging in my opinion i'd rather just have it over my shoulder or even i'll just slip my hand through just like a, a little you know hand carry sort of moment a fantastic piece all around with a lot of versatility perfect for any age range as well and i'm especially happy that i have all three in my collection just to have a little bit of variety and it's a wonderful piece to have so the damir azor Pachet Accessoires NM. Moving on to my first on prompt piece. This is the key pouch in the Marine Rouge combination, or I think they renamed this combination to just your navy in red. So I got this piece in 2019. So this one in particular was my wallet every single day since I got it up until recently. Um, I discontinued using it maybe about four months now and the reason for that is just for the fact that i was using this so much i wanted to be sure i was not wearing through it yes i did get a lot of wear out of this piece and i loved it and i enjoy it and i want to use it again but the thing about it is that it's discontinued louis vuitton no longer makes in this particular item nor something similar to it and whenever i say that is that this one in particular allowed me to keep my my key my car key as well as like my driver's license in like another car as well as like insurance or about three cards comfortably without stressing the shape of it too much and a lot of the wallets that Louis Vuitton currently has while I can technically slip in everything on like a zipper or even like a, a pouch like this is that this one just has so much convenience if I needed to grab a card I would put that in the back and it was as simple as opening that zipper pockets I never really had to to reach into this you know button pocket right here 
which is good because if I use this to house my cards where I had to grab them a lot, I could kind of feel that I would have glazing issues. But because I never really open it too much, I don't. My glazing is fine. And particularly for how much I've used it. If you do see some kind of wear, I'm happy with it because I have gotten like the money's worth out of this piece. And if I ever did have receipts, honestly, I kind of just stuffed them in my purse. But if they were important enough, then yeah, I would open it and like fold it in there nicely, put it in the interior compartment right here. So that is nice. So whenever I first got this piece, I was kind of like wondering if it would ever fade. You know, you always hear about color transfer here on YouTube, but this piece in particular, because it really did live inside of my handbag most of the time, it looks pretty good for being an item that was very used and for being four years old. One thing is right here on the button, I did get a plastic kind of sticker protector from um, Harv Deluxe. While I'm not seeing any like silver coming through the gold i can see that the color under the sticker is a little bit more profound than around the edges and then like my zipper pull gosh this looks brand new like i i don't even know how and then the other area where you'll see the most wear is in my little pull right here in the edge so that's again i don't mind i really love how this piece has worn and i'm quite happy with it it also does have a little chain this chain is quite pretty the design of it is very nice compared to other pieces that i have that have this um but you can easily put your keys in here i really never did that but it is an option right like a simple grab and go purse kind of what i'm saying is this wallet offered so many options to me that i really loved and i wish it didn't really discontinue this item because it's so handy it's so versatile you know what i mean louis vuitton currently does not have a wallet options that are kind of similar to this the wallet options that louis vuitton currently has or you know your small little pouches that are on prompts don't really fit what i'm looking for like if it's a pouch i want it to have at least a slip pocket for cards that is fitted for cards and not where the cards are kind of like swimming in there that way you know i don't lose anything i can't really see a lot of good wallet options i would be interested in i'll have to kind of venture more into their wallets look at them in detail go into the store and check them out i did check out the clea wallet because I thought that would be something that could fit my key fob comfortably in that zipper pocket and then I could just you know slip all the cards in the inside like a traditional wallet but it actually doesn't close too well even if it's just my debit card my driver's license and my key fob no you know change nothing it was kind of stressing the closure so I didn't opt for that one but I do really like that wallet the other item that I guess I'll go ahead and mention is called the Romy wallet so that wallet is new it premiered or Early this year maybe like in the springtime and um, they brought it out in so many beautiful colors as their staple collection colors and then of course they do have some limited or seasonal colors that they've introduced to that Romy wallet that is a wallet that I have yet to see in person and I really do want to check it out just to kind of see the spacing of it I kind of feel because it has a small gusset right here that my key fob will work on there just fine I just kind of have to venture into the store to figure out myself if you do have that wallet and you're enjoying it let me know what your thoughts what your experience is on it so far i'm thinking of possibly getting that one if it works out if it checks all my little boxes that i have and maybe getting it in like the rose color or possibly even like a yellow they have a very pretty yellow that i think would be a nice pop of joy inside of my handbags but anyways this is the key clay now discontinued in the navy rouge combination all right so moving on to the third item that i'm going to show you today and actually the second one within my emprunt collection this is my very beautiful, in my opinion, of course, Navy Nacre Pochette Matisse. This is a Pochette Matisse with silver hardware. This is a blue metallic color, kind of like a blue jean kind of color. And I love that. I love how this shines. It's not iridescent by no means, but it is very much metallic. It is a, you know, traditional style Pochette Matisse, your little briefcase looking handbag, the little top handle that has, you know, the imprinting up here. The Pochette Matisse is widely recognizable for Louis Vuitton. So it has your S-spot closure right here and it has your three compartments. The back being the slimmest, the center being the widest, and this one being about medium in my opinion. And the inside of my bag in particular is microfiber lining, which is very nice because not a lot of bags, even if they're on prompts, have microfiber lining for the Pochette Matisse range. So that's pretty cool. And then in 
the back, obviously, just your zippered pocket right here, also lined with microfiber lining. So the strap on this one is very nice. It is stamped with a grain on there, so it feels very durable. So this is my second pochette matisse in my collection. The very first one I had was also in the navy rouge combination, just like the piece that I just shown prior. And I really loved it so much that I decided to get this one. The other handbag is no longer in my collection, and I did make a video on it, so I will put it down below in case you're wondering if you want to see more handbags that are no longer in my collection and why. So I really love this one so much, spoiler alert, that I ended up getting it again in a different color. This one I feel suits me a lot because in my day-to-day, -day, if I do wear jewelry, it's going to be in a silver tone and it's just something that I gravitate towards. So the fact that this has that option, knowing that a lot of luxury handbags primarily have either the that beautiful yellow kind of gold, just like my wallet or more of a medium tone light gold champagne maybe looking but not so much in the silver tone so that's something that i really liked about this one besides the color this color just in person it's striking you know point blank period right so this one is so fun because you can carry it like this over the shoulder and across the body typically i'm just using this as an over the shoulder bag i don't really use it cross body for me i find that whenever i do have it cross body while it's not terrible it's a little bit weighty so i rather just swing it off one shoulder rather than have it as a cross body so i don't really wear it that way in my last bag i did use that one more as a cross body and what i noticed is the Fact that the zipper kind of has a lot of friction in the back here and can wear a little bit of that on prawn so wherever it's always dancing whether it's here if you have it closed or over here if you have the zipper open but you know just something to note for me this bag it is a little bit heavy on its own not too much though not too much and once you start putting your things in there obviously it's gonna be a little bit even more heavier so my preferred way of using the pochette matisse is over the shoulder coming on the inside on the center compartment that's pretty much where i house all of my stuff just because it is the largest so i don't really freely put things in there if i'm in a rush and i'm taking this out of storage then i would stick stuff in there but i try to put a pouch in there and have everything inside of that pouch rather than just letting it loose because it is microfiber lining it is something that's a little bit darker than like a light pink or a light beige those sort of interior colors but it can still get stained nonetheless so i definitely try to be mindful of that and this front compartment is pretty much where i would either house my cell phone or my wallets and in the back sometimes if i carry like my um kindle i will put that here but most of the time it's just empty what i have in here all the time is just my little cards that come whenever you buy the bag and that's pretty much all that lives back here this bag um is very beautiful i don't see myself getting rid of it i actually do want to get another pochette matisse but i don't have my mindset on what is that one that I want? Do I want it to get in an ampras or do I want it in any of the canvases? Like I'm still kind of debating and plus because I really do like this one and I'm enjoying it, I'm not in a rush to go get a new one and then especially knowing I do have like a, a sort of well-rounded collection of crossbody shoulder bags and you know like your small medium large bags and those sort of options are pretty much the ones that I gravitate towards but it's always in my mind to look into the Pachamatis once more. It's a very great on-the-go bag and and that's one of the things that I love about it the most. So with that, that was the Pochette Matisse and the Navy Nacre color. These two pieces look exactly alike with a little envelope closure in the front and then the back zippered. This is why I found this to be a perfect pair whenever I did have my other um, Pochette Matisse. And if they would have brought it out in this color, I probably would have gotten in, but it was discontinued by that time. They did bring it out in like a key clay, like your traditional little rectangle one, but no, they did also bring it out in that clear wallet that I was mentioning. That's one of the things that I I keep in my mind how reminiscent this is to that pochette matisse that I had first but it was just something that I wanted to add because they're it's like the same thing you know what I mean all right so moving on to my last item this is my newest and actually I didn't even notice but I was showing you the pieces from the oldest to newest it just kind of worked out that way anyways this is my speedy bandolier 25 in the wine color this is a bag that i've had about two months now or two and a half ish months now i love it it's perfect for the season i love the depthness of the color and how it bounces off very nicely with the gold hardware the only thing about this one compared to the bag that i just showed you is the strap 
So this strap is a different material. So this is more like a simple calfskin. And then the one in my other um, um, prompt piece is that grained leather version, which I find is more durable than the other one. And you can kind of see more creases on the wine versus the one that is stamped. But I will show you that now so you can kind of see what I mean. Even though they're both on prompt pieces, um, those are two differences. You know, it does kind of give, you know, different looks of what Louis Vuitton can offer in their straps. I kind of like the grained versus the simple one. So you can kind of see the differences in hardware color too. I definitely like the hardware on the silver better. Even though the wine is a new version, like a newly 2023, fall 2023 bag, it looks different. With time, this one, you can kind of see the wrinkles that form right so like if there's rain i can kind of feel like this is gonna get pebbling i don't know obviously i haven't had it that long but even here because of the stamping the wrinkles that it forms whenever you are like confirming it either to this or just you know grabbing it all together right here they undo themselves quite nicely to where you can't really tell whereas over here i feel like it looks more like of an indention let me know what your thoughts are versus you know your smooth and your grained leathers apart from that the bag itself it's fine. The handles are in that smooth kind of finish, which is something that, you know, I'm not really a fan of because of what I just mentioned, but I don't know what other handles this bag would have. I guess I would have to look into the past on prompt pieces just to kind of see what that, you know, handle looks like. Is it grained? Is it smooth like this? Like, what is it? I kind of feel like it's grained, but I don't know. This bag is a small compact bag that I actually got in Rome. So I'm very excited about that. And I actually should put it up and maybe I should do what's in my bag. I have a lot of junk in here. This is the bag that I'm currently using. It's such a beautiful bag. I can't believe that I kind of have it because it's perfect for the season and just the size in general. I am a fan of the size 30 and now using this a little bit more. I think the size 30 is like a perfect size for me, but at the same time, this complements my frame great so i'm kind of like mm, you know should i get another speedy 25 or should i let my next speedy be a size 30 i don't know i'm still debating because they're both great sizes but i really like the way this looks against my body a little bit more i I want to carry a whole bunch of stuff, probably things I don't even need. But anyways, even with that said, I have this filled with things and it's fine, you know? So that's kind of like, mm, the 25 is a really good size. So this bag, I didn't really notice at first, but it does have a Louis Vuitton stamping on the side. It's very faint. I don't know if it's because I probably got a bad imprint of the Louis Vuitton logo or it's just the way it looks. So I kind of feel like I got a pen mark on there. So I'm gonna have to clean that. But talking about the logo is if you have an Emprunt Speedy that is probably a 2023 version or even a 2022 with the Giants, let me know if your Louis Vuitton logo on the side is profound or if it's just like subtly on the side of the bag. But that is one question that I did have. And then the interior, oh wow. The interior of this bag is so beautiful. Let me try to take everything out out really quick to show you because it's so pretty i think it's really the color the color it has a perfect mix of brown purple it's a lot of pretty elements that go into the color of the bag itself and the lining look at that so pretty anyways now that i'm here i guess i can show you so i have the logo off of this side i have a zippered pocket across the zippered pocket i have another slip pocket pretty much what has always been in the bag from whenever i got it is the little pouch the little keys actually i did a mistake of having my so right now i have the lock here but whenever i got the bag it was on the little zipper which is fine then i moved it over to one of these side hoops with my strap being connected so i actually have a lot of scratches on my lock already i mean more than i would want for the age right let me see you can kind of see it more there 
they could probably be buffed out i don't know but that's just something to know so that's why i kind of have it here because it doesn't really hit anything yes it has this hardware and potentially like this little rivet right here but most of it is just surrounded by leather or a little bit of a cushion to where that doesn't really happen as much of course i can also take it off but i like the way it looks it's just you know simple whatever it's a lock this is a classic style by louis vuitton and so is a lock so on the other pocket is the little card and that's all i've always really carried in those sides and the inside whenever i got it i had a little bit of debris from the dust bag i think i'm not too sure but i kind of just left it there so whenever i put this bag away i really do have to clean it all and now mentioning that that's probably one of the drawbacks of having a microfiber interior bag i do already have another one that i had before getting even these two in a canvas style and that one is fine i think it's because it has a bigger opening i can kind of clean it a little bit better or control what's in there i haven't really tried cleaning it so whenever i do put it into storage i will um take a look of how difficult that is it's a very generous opening so i'm pretty sure it's gonna be fine and one of the things that i love about this bd is how the zipper drops here but anyways that is all my emperons and my damir azor collection by louis vuitton if you have any pieces let me know what those are what are your favorites i'm thinking of getting another one either this one or like a wallet option kind of like i mentioned previously i was going to talk about the romi wallet but i did kind of slip that in whenever i was talking about the wallet earlier so that is the item that i have in my mind just those two the wallet and another ampron speedy let me know your thoughts on any of the items let me know if you have any questions and i want to thank you so very much for spending a little bit of your day with me and i hope to see you next time goodbye